Good evening. I'm looking forward to the time of prayer and worship at 7 o'clock promptly on my Facebook uh, account. So if you just uh, search Busane Mtsungolwane, you'll find us. We'll be live and we'll be just worshiping God. Today's devotion just encourages you to intentionally let God's word order your steps. Evil will not prevail against you. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 I read, it says, For indeed we have had the good news of salvation preached to us, just as the Israelites also. When the good news of the promised land came to them, but the message they had did not benefit them because it was not united with faith in God by those who heard it. My prayer is that you and I will not only hear the voice of the shepherd, but we will believe him and we will obey him. The Bible says we are blessed because we hear the voice of God and not only that, we are empowered to obey him. I want to encourage you to intentionally walk in revelation knowledge. The Bible says that the thief comes to kill, steal and destroy. And Jesus says as he speaks to his disciples, but I've come that you might have everlasting life, eternal life. That's the life we should be living, an abundant life. Blessed is the one who will trust in the Lord no matter what. Trust in the Lord no matter what in this season. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 to 8 I read, Most blessed is the person who believes in, trusts in, relies on the Lord, whose hope and confidence the Lord is. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out its roots by the river. It shall not see or hear when it comes, but its leaf shall be green. It shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought, nor shall it cease to yield fruit. Have faith in God, my friend. The Bible tells us to do so in Mark chapter 11, verse 22. You might be asking, what kind of faith? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it states, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of things we hope for, being proof of things we do not see the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as a real fact that which is not revealed to the senses. Child of God, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, the Bible tells us without such faith, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So we want to be people that walk by faith because that's how God designed us. We must live the abundant life God has designed us to live in spite of Satan's attempts to destroy us in 2022. The Lord will be our shepherd to feed us, to guide us, and to shield us. We shall not lack because the result in 2022. Uh, as I say that, I want you to say it also with conviction. Someone needs to hear what the Holy Spirit says today. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Unbelief will rob you of God's best for your life. Believe you are who God says you are. Believe you can do what God says you can do. As I read the account of the rebellion of the Israelites, when they were in the wilderness, they wandered for so many years and they failed just to rest in God's word, on God's word. But they doubted the word of God. They believed an evil report that caused them to fear. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we will intentionally incline our ears to the word of God. We will determine not to despise, provoke, or displease, or grieve our God who is with us right now. It's an insult to God to fear when you walk with such greatness. In Numbers chapter 14 verse 11, this is what God said about the Israelites to Moses. How long will these people provoke, spurn, or despise me? How long will it be before they believe me, or trust in me, rely on me, cling on me, for all these signs which I have performed amongst them? Imagine. After God had performed all those great signs, the people still doubted God. I pray that you will trust in the Lord, do good, dwell in the land, and feed on his faithfulness. I pray that God's word will order your steps in 2022 and you will overcome evil in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you are a great God, you are a great king. You are above all gods. There is no other God like you. None can be compared to you. Come, let us bow and worship him wherever you are. Today will be a great opportunity to do that at 7 o'clock promptly. May the Lord bless you. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, Father, that we have great expectation as your word inspires that expectation. Thank you that it cannot be denied because your word can never fail. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Have a wonderful day. Good evening.